everyone so today is going to be a pretty comprehensive day because I'm doing a sightseeing tour of most of um, Cape Town or tourist parts of Cape Town I'm at Maiden's Cove I think at the moment which is near Camps Bay and so this is where we are starting the tour it, they picked me up at the hotel so they picked me up at New Kings Hotel and now with a number of other guests and tour, tourists we're going to be sightseeing throughout the area so yeah enjoy this day it's going to be really good there are lots of things that we're going to see enjoy uh, nobody wants to live here because it was too far from town uh, there was a farm here sailors who had fallen ill out on sea Um, a number of street cafes to the left, uh, always popular with people restaurants, some very expensive, very good. Bay Hotel, restaurants, mostly uh, Gordon's and Fields of Toya. Um, just briefly, eventually developed into a fishing harbour. The populated area there, that's Ibizamuyetu, uh, a township. Well, Okay, so we've come to Chapman's Peak, second stop on this sightseeing tour. Yeah, it is immensely beautiful. I'm going to show you the the beach and the sea and the the landscape behind me. But yeah, behind me just there, you should be able to see Chapman's Peak sign. And then look at this. I mean, golly, woo! This is beauty. This is nature. This is awesome so chapman's peak does require a car to get to so if you do come to cape town you'd need to organize some kind of tour as i did i went to TripAdvisor and i found some there or i asked my local hotel it's a it's a wonderful drive to get there and it's just as great to be there take pictures and videos and just taking the sights definitely recommend it as one of the things to do when in cape town absolutely stunning beautiful drive beautiful views beautiful day beautiful country we've arrived at the next point on the tour which is cape of good hope cape point table mountain national park so yeah this is the entrance to it it's quite a very scenic place to go there is a cable car which is just coming over there which well a tram which can take you up to the top it has baboons which you should not attempt to feed for your own safety <coughs> so the next stop on the tour was the boulders penguin colony so you may not know but penguins are actually indigenous to south africa the boulders penguin colony is also known as boulders beach this is the first time in my life I'd ever gotten to see penguins up close. I had hoped I'd actually be able to be on the beach with them because I'd seen online that other people get to go on the beach sometimes, be a bit closer to the penguins. But unfortunately, on this trip, we weren't able to for various reasons. The beach has lots and lots of penguins. I think it's meant to be up to several hundreds of there. It does make for a really good sight to go there. I've never seen penguins before in my life and the chance to see so many together was amazing. The good thing about Borders Beach is unlike going to a zoo where penguins or animals are trapped in cages, these penguins are very much free